Tottenham have inquired about a Swedish striker. The Tottenham under-23s are to play Leighton Orient next week in memory of former Tottenham legend Justin Edinburgh. A midfielder is set to leave in the next 48 hours. A club legend has stated that Harry Kane will be a Spurs player for at least the next two seasons. And a former Tottenham striker believes that Atalanta's Timothy Castagne would be a great fit at Spurs. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Today is Saturday, the 15th of August. I'm going to go through all of the Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports from the last 24 hours. An official announcement out by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club and the under-23s are to face Leighton Orient in the JE3 Cup as part of their preparations for the new campaign, our under-23s will take on League 2 club Leighton Orient in a pre-season match on Wednesday evening, the 19th of August. The Behind Closed Doors fixture kick-off 7pm represents the first outing of the summer of our development squad following their recent return to full group training. The winners on the night will be presented with the JE3 Cup in memory of our legendary former left-back and ex Leighton Orient manager Justin Edinburgh, who tragically passed away last summer at the age of 49. The Tottenham under-23s coach Wayne Burnett said for our young players this will be their first match in quite some time after the pandemic and it will be a really useful test against Football League opposition. It's a fantastic opportunity to give minutes to a lot of players against senior opponents as we build up to the start of the new season. We've been in contact with Martin Ling and Ross Emberton at Leighton Orient since last year with a view to doing something to commemorate Justin. They obviously have strong links with us and Justin's family and we're pleased to have found a suitable opportunity to play this match now, albeit unfortunately during a time where we can't share this occasion with both sets of supporters. Wayne Burnett then goes on to say, Justin was a good man, a really good football person, and for us to compete for a trophy named after his foundation in the JE3 Cup is something we're honoured to do. Former manager Maurizio Pochettino has always said that he will never, ever manage Barcelona. Well, a report has come out today from the Evening Standard and they are stating that former Tottenham manager Pochettino has emerged as a leading candidate for the Barcelona job. The report states that the Barcelona president has called an emergency board meeting for Monday to discuss urgent changes after the club's humiliating 8-2 loss to Bayern Munich in the Champions League on Friday night. As I said, Maurizio Pochettino has always said that he would not manage Barcelona because of his links with Aspaniel. Um, in a recent interview, he said, I did not want to disrespect Barcelona. You can say things differently. Espanyol made a name for me, but I'm not arrogant and I didn't like making a statement like that. Maybe now I wouldn't because in life you never know what will happen. Now, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Maurizio Pochettino at Barcelona, can you see it happening? A report out today from TalkSport and they are stating that Queen's Park Rangers are set to complete the permanent signing of Tottenham Hotspur midfielder Luke Amos. Amos 23 spent the 2019-2020 campaign on loan at the championship outfit where he struck up a close relationship with manager Mark Warburton. It then goes on to say, a defensive midfielder by trade, Amos was an ever-present for the R's last season, making 35 appearances across all competitions. But with only a year remaining on his current deal at Spurs, Amos has decided that his future lies away from Tottenham, the club he joined at the age of 10 years old. An official announcement is expected to be made by the clubs in the next 48 to 72 hours. It was announced by Benfica late last night that they have signed former Tottenham defender Jan Vertonghen, who is now targeting winning trophies with his new club. Vertonghen has just signed a three-year deal with the Portuguese Giants and said, I have come here to win trophies. I want to achieve those things. Becoming champion is definitely one of the goals I want to achieve. 
If you look at the Benfica team now, it is a great team and it is one of the goals to continue playing in the Champions League. And I definitely think that we can achieve those things. Six years at Ajax and eight years at Tottenham, that reflects the way that I want to be a footballer. I like stability and that is what Benfica offered me. And that was very important for me. That was the most important thing in me signing. I really felt the confidence. Reports out in Germany earlier today and they are stating that Tottenham Hotspur Football Club and German side Mainz are in talks about Spurs signing their striker Robin Quayson. Reports are stating that Spurs have been in touch with the club and inquired about his availability. So will he sign for Spurs for the start of next season? Um, he is a Swedish international and has been likened to the playing style of Bayern Munich's Gnabry. Robin Quayson, as I said, is a Swedish international. He's got 15 caps for his country, uh, scoring seven goals. He has played 95 games for German side Mainz, scoring 25 times. He is a forward. He can also play as an attacking midfielder and a winger, and he is 26 years old. Last season, he scored 13 league goals in 32 league appearances. And also, if you get time, do go and check out some of the clips on YouTube because his finishing is incredible. Club legend Mickey Hazard has been talking to the Daily Star all about the Gareth Bale situation. And he has said, would I want to see him back in a Tottenham shirt 100% without a shadow of a doubt? Mickey Hazard then goes on to say, anyone who says Bow wouldn't offer Tottenham anything is lying. I sincerely hope he gets his career back on track because he's such a special talent. Mickey Hazard then went on to talk about Tottenham striker Harry Kane and believes that Kane will be at the club for at least another couple of years. He said he stated before that he, if he's not winning trophies, he will have to have a rethink. But I'm very confident with Kane because he's a top man who has been brought up very well. He's loyal and honest. I'd expect him to be here for at least another two years. After that, what Spurs win will dictate his long-term plans. He could go on to any club in the world, but at the moment, he is still a Tottenham boy. One of the hardest decisions you'll ever make is leaving a club where you've risen up through the youth system. It gets into your heart and soul. As I said in yesterday's update video, no deal has been agreed yet. No talks are being made at the moment between Tottenham Hotspur and Newcastle about Danny Rose. So at the moment, on Monday morning, Danny Rose will be training back at Hotspur Way. Now, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Do you ever see Danny Rose being in a Tottenham shirt again under the management of Jose Mourinho? More reports have been published in the last couple of days in Italy all about Serge Aurier's possible move to AC Milan. Apparently, the uh, the deal is going to be hotting up this coming week and a deal could be done by the end of the week. Um, Darren Bent, a former Tottenham striker, has come out and said that Timothy Castagne uh, would provide Tottenham with the experience and quality required to propel themselves back into the Champions League. Atalanta's Timothy Castagne has been linked with Tottenham many times in the last couple of months. Well, his agent has come out and said Timothy has done very well in the last three seasons, but I don't think he can do more than what he did at Atalanta. Now we will have to evaluate all of the options. The player until yesterday was focused on the Champions League. Now let's see how the market evolves. Darren Bent has been talking about Timothy Castagne and been talking to the Football Insider and said Tottenham need to start addressing that back line. We have seen Jan Vertonghen go and we know that they've got the likes of Jeff at Tanganga, but they need to get some fullbacks in there. Today is the 15th of August, so many happy returns to two former Tottenham players who celebrate their birthdays today. Midfielder Johnny Jackson turns 38 and former Tottenham attacker uh, Clinton and Jai turns 27. So many happy returns to both of you. Um, also, I'd like to wish a big happy birthday to Spurs fan Dean, who is a regular on this channel. So Dean, I hope you've had a great day. 
Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything that I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't already subscribe to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Let's get up to 40,000 subscribers before the 2020-2021 season starts. Um, half the people who watch this channel don't subscribe, so please do take the time just to hit that subscribe button. Anyway, have a lovely uh, rest of the weekend. I'll see you tomorrow for some more Tottenham news. Stay safe and well. Come on, you Spurs. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you like the shirt I have been wearing in today's video, you can order one of these shirts and many, many more from toffs.com. You can also get in touch with them by email. It is inquiries at toffs.com. All of the links are um, in the description box below this video. Um, they have an absolutely superb range of retro Tottenham shirts, so don't miss out.